Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the sonnets and today we have sonnet 131, which says, Thou art as tyrannous, so as thou art, as those whose beauties proudly make them cruel. For well thou knowest, to my dear doting heart, thou art the fairest and most precious jewel. Yet, in good faith, some say that thee behold, thy face hath not the power to make love groan. To say they err, I dare not be so bold, although I swear it to myself alone. And to be sure, that is not false, I swear, a thousand groans but thinking on thy face, one on another's neck do witness bear, thy black is fairest in my judgment's place. In nothing art thou black, save in thy deeds, and thence this slander, as I think, proceeds. So this is another one that Shakespeare has written for or about or to his Dark Lady. We're in the Dark Lady sonnet, uh, which going back for the past couple sonnets, he's talking about she has darker hair and darker complexion, which were not considered attractive at the time. But he finds this particular woman to be particularly beautiful, despite having dark hair, darker skin, darker eyes, not wearing makeup, all of these sorts of things. And he starts off the poem by saying, you know, you're just as mean as everybody else who knows that they can manipulate people throughout their, by using their beauty, because you know how I feel about you, so you do the same. And there's plenty of people out there who say that you're not pretty, and of course, I'm not going to stand up to them because, you know, but behind closed doors, I absolutely say that you are the most beautiful and I sigh and I groan about you all the time. And, you know, I, th I think that you're lovely and you're wonderful and, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but you're, you're being kind of mean because you know that you can do whatever you want with me because of how I feel about you. So that's Sonnet 131. It's not, it's not super deep. It's, yeah, it just sort of is. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow for 132.